transmitted live. Oh, yep. I said, got it. And we are live. Welcome to Facebook to get straight to it. Podcast. Let me check if it's on the page. Once I check if it's on the page, we can get straight to it, bro. Open up in prayer. Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. We're here right here with uh, Justin Vaughn. Come on. Yes, sir. Live in the flesh. <clears throat> live and direct. We're going to get to it. Get straight to it. There it is. Let me check if it's on the page. All Let's right. Check. We're on here. Let me find out why. Okay, it's because I got you in the corner. Let me see. Boom. Better. All right. Let me make sure on here. It looks good. There it is. All right. Jump into prayer. Amen. All right, Father God, we thank you, Lord, right now for this divine appointment that you set apart for me and Justin to be able to lock arms, Father God, and lift your name thank up, you. Father God. Thank you, Jesus. We ask that right now you allow us to decrease and you increase, Father God, that the people see you through us, Father God. We ask that you open the ears and the hearts of those that need to receive this, Father God, and touch and be impactful to those that need to hear it, Father God. We thank you, Lord. We bind the hands of the enemy. We bind any distraction right now. We come against any attacks of the enemy's camp, and we tell them to cease and, and decrease right now in the name of Jesus. Die now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Father. Yes, we glorify Lord. your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I mean, we can get straight to it, bro, on, 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 your, on your testimony, dog. He introduced the people <clears throat> to introduce the people to. Amen. Amen. So my name is Justin Vaughn. Um, so this is a, uh, it's crazy, bro. I, I just want to reflect on something real quick. As you were praying, bro, <clears throat> before we had even like started the little live thing the, uh, in the Zoom, I had prayed and, uh, you know, started reading my word too. And it, bro, almost dang near word for word verbatim, bro, as, as you were praying was the exact thing, same thing that I prayed for, bro. Like, no lie. Um, yeah, so so that's yeah. super fire, bro. <clears throat> and, um, but anyway, so my name is Justin and um, I, uh, I do Christian hip hop as a lot of some, most of you guys may know. Um, but I just want to do uh, part of my testimony and uh, how I came to Christ. And so uh, 2016, um, my daughter was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Um, and, and as a father and as a, as a parent, when you hear, you know, you hear cancer um, from any side of the field, no matter if it's uh if you have a, a hundred percent chance to live or, you know, a very slim chance to live, you know, it's scary across the board, no matter how you look at it. Um, so my daughter was, uh, um, was diagnosed with that. And, um, as a father, me and my wife, you know, we were, we were devastated because it was a 90% chance uh, of a non-survival rate. Um, and, and eventually, you know, it, it came down lower as, as they, uh, as they, um, got closer to the, you know, as we got closer to our, um, remission state, uh, date. Um, so my daughter and, and what's crazy. So I, I want to go back a little bit. When my daughter first got diagnosed, the day that she got diagnosed, my, 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 my wife was at the hospital and I was at the barbershop cutting hair. <clears throat> and, uh, my wife called me and she says, Hey, you know, this is such and such has happened. And, uh, so I left the barbershop, went straight up to the hospital. And, um, my daughter tells my wife, um, mom, don't worry. Cause God got us. And mind Man. you, we weren't, and mind you, we weren't, um, we weren't, uh, fully saved at this moment we would go to church in and out um but we didn't we didn't represent god in a way that they would know hey i know that god can, i know that god will save me from this no matter what and so right. for her to say that it was a it was a big it was a big step for my wife to say man i need to get my life i need to get my life right so i can guide my family into the right direction and right. so my wife she ended up going to church one day and um the pastor was like hey i want you to close your eyes and think about and think about the the the, the, uh, the seat that's next to you that's empty and think about who should be sitting in that seat and my wife was at the very end of the row and she looked down the and she looked down the aisle and realized the whole entire section was empty and so she was like you know and and and, and the pastor was like um i want you to think of these per these people by name and, you know she started thinking of me my all my other kids her her kids uh, just uh brothers and sisters in general and, and um she said the pastor said what would you do to see their life here or what would you do to see them saved and my wife said uh, i would lay my life down and and at, at that moment she said god spoke to her and said well then do it and she says deny and he said deny yourself <clears throat> and so uh and so here we are on uh, here we are on this journey and um you know i'm i'm still uh i'm still living in the streets bro i'm, I'm doing drugs 
I, I ended up um, cheating on my wife in, in these moments. And, um, and uh, you know, I, I, I tried to portray as this, um, I tried to portray as this, uh, as this, you know, this, this strong father or this strong husband. And yet I was weak inside. I was dying. You know, what I mean, I, I didn't know how to deal with a lot of things. And so I would I would run to run to different things. And I wanted to kick it with my partners instead of, you know, consoling my wife or consoling my daughter. I, these are the, I wanted to run to the to the drugs and to the money and to the women. And yeah. um, and, uh, you know, so 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 that's why I found myself was was just tumbling down, you know, but but yeah. God had God had a bigger plan. And so fast forward to um, so my, my daughter's um, 2018, she ends up going into remission. Yeah, 2000. Uh, yeah, 2018. She ends up going into remission. Well, ju- uh, June of 2018, I ended up giving my life to Christ, Amen. and uh, yeah. um, so this is two about two and a half years after you know after my daughter was um was diagnosed, and so you know now I'm um I'm finally giving my life to God, and I end up giving my life to God at a Brian T concert. Um, mm-hmm. it, it, it was funny. It was funny because before that, um, <clears throat> I'm, just as me and you were talking earlier, um. I had the opportunity um, to go to to go to a couple events, but I didn't want to, you know. Um, but my wife was safe, so she would always go. And uh, one time, she brought home a um, a couple of Brian T albums, <clears throat> and she's playing them in the car. And I'm like, "What is this?" She's like, "It's Christian hip hop, bro. I promise you not. I, I took the CD out of the out of the deck, bro, and I frisbee that thing out of the window. Come on, I was man. Like, I don't I don't want to listen to this junk. You know what I mean? And, and that was just right. me being hard headed, bro." um and, and being being prideful um but and then it what's funny is you know i end up giving my life at a brian t concert and <clears throat> what's funny is i didn't even want to go to the brian t concert my wife was on the phone with one of my brothers and she's like shane i need you to 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 tell this dude to hurry up and get his life together and, and come to this concert and i'm like yeah and i could hear him on the phone like hey you're gonna push him away from jesus just 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 love on him you know and uh, she's like, here, you talk to him. And so I get on the phone with him and he's like, what's up, bro? Because at this time I was like, you know, I I, I knew I loved Jesus, but I just wasn't, I, I wasn't ready to to settle down. I wasn't ready because I, I always pictured the, you know, the Christian as, as a suit and tie. You know, you got to right. talk a certain way. You got you to look proper. You got to do all these things. I didn't know that I can come as I am. I didn't know the Bible like that. I didn't know that I can come and still be who I am because it's not the outer that he looks at it's the in, it's the heart that he looks at and as long as your heart is postured in the right direction he doesn't care what you look like but of yeah. course I mean of course he's going to change you as, as you walk you know what I mean he's going to clean you up and look to make uh, present you you know but um so I got on the phone with my brother and he's like hey man what's going on I'm like man just chilling bro you know and he's like you're going to come to the event tomorrow and I was like no nah, I'm cool bro I'm just going to chill back and he's like well will you do me a favor real quick and I was like yeah what's up he's like Will you will you pray about it? And I was like, in my mind, I'm like, heck no, I'm not finna pray. And, but I was like, yeah, I'll pray, bro. And I was like, yeah, I'll pray. And uh, he goes, okay, cool. And so that night, um, I didn't even end up praying. The next day comes, and I just felt this strong tug on my heart, bro, to to go. And I I could I didn't know how to fight the urge, and so I ended up going. And I was like, man, you know, whatever happens, happens. And uh, uh, bro did his, did his, did the event. And then, you know, how he ministers throughout the event. And, uh, I can just, I can just feel my heart just, just pounding hard, bro. My body was getting hot and I, I, I didn't know what was going on. And I'm like, man, what the heck? You know, I, I would get up, go walk outside. Like, man, it's just, it's just so many people in here. I'm hot, you know, but, yeah. um, to, to look back at it now, I knew it was the Holy spirit, you know, cleansing me and, and of all my, of all my iniquities, of all my sin. And he ended up doing the altar call and bro, I broke. I had big snot bubbles coming out of my nose, just, just hey, crying, on, bro, and, yeah. and and you know, and just <clears throat> and, and fully and and finally, finally, fully surrendering to him, and just say, man, I I don't want to live this life no more. And so I I I put everything that I ever did behind me, and um, I started living for God, bro. And uh, my wife always says, uh, you know, when when we when we uh, she was growing in 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 the Lord, but then she hit like a hit like a ceiling. And then when I gave my life to God, you know, it was like, it was like, I, I, she was like, man, you just, you just grew so fast. I said, right. no, I was just taking my rightful spot in my household. Come on now. Come you on. know, it goes, it goes, yeah. God, me, then you, you know, and then, then we can, we can keep growing together. Right. You know, and she was like, man, she was like, babe, it's crazy you say like that. Cause I, I believe it, you know, and I'm, and I was just like, yeah, you know, God was having me take my rightful spot as, as a husband and as a leader as my, of my household. And, um, um, so yeah, man, so, so, so that happened. And then uh, 
I just want to tell another quick testimony, bro. Um, you know, yeah, that, that's how I came to Christ. But um, I want to tell another testimony, you know, for, for a bunch of, um, you know, because I know in the in the body, um, you know, there's a lot of marriages and, yeah. and some some marriages struggle a lot. And they're like, you know, um, we always put on this 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 forefront of man, marriage is, is beautiful. It's the best thing. You know, but it's, it's hey. it, it gets hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so, sure. and so, just like I said in my testimony, you know, I ended up I ended up cheating on my wife. You know, when when my daughter was diagnosed, and um, you know, that was something I thought I was gonna go to the grave with. I never thought I was gonna tell my wife. Um, well, 2020, the day of lockdown, March 19, 2020. I remember this day because it's it's the the day we went into lockdown, and it's the day that I ended up confessing to my wife what I did. Um, uh, and I'm not, and I'm not saying this, and I'm not saying, and I'm not saying, man, bro, he, I'm, so I'm going to tell you, uh, so we, me and my wife, we do these, uh, they're called prayer nights and, yeah. um, we would always go over to these houses and pray over people and, and, and deliverance and, and, you know, introduce them to Jesus, whatever, whatever they wanted, we, we would go over there and, and, and pray for them. Well, there was a couple there, um, who their marriage was not, it wasn't on the rocks, um, but you know, God had just showed me, Hey, I'm finna take their marriage through, you know, through some, through some storms or whatever. And, yeah. you know, tell them, tell them to prepare, you know, for, for what's ahead of them. And, um, so, you know, I, I, I elaborated, you know, what God had put on my heart. And at that moment, bro, God said, now I'm finna take your marriage through some troubled waters as well. Yeah. And he said, but don't worry. Cause I'm with you. And I was like, man, what the heck? And so that night I ended up coming home and I was reading my Bible and I was just weeping all over my Bible, bro. My wife's like, what's wrong? And I knew in the back of my mind exactly what I was going to have to do the next morning. So we fall asleep the next morning. I'm, I'm praying and I'm just crying, bro, weeping hard. And my wife's like, man, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, I have something to tell you. And um, she's like, what else? You know, and I ended up confessing, you know, what I, what I did. And uh she kicked me out of the house and mind you this is exactly the day that lockdown happened so yeah. you know nobody this is the day coronavirus had hit the uh, had hit the planet of earth and so you know it, it, the uh so we weren't really allowed to go out but yeah. my wife kicked, my wife kicked me out and i drove to my mom's house um luckily we had a couple um we had a couple uh, uh um brothers and sisters alongside of us some leaders who uh who spoke life into my wife and my brother I, I, um, I love him to death for telling my wife this. He says, you're not going to kick your husband out. You're actually going to call him and tell him to get his butt home now. Right. And, um, you know, thank God that my wife is a teachable and, and a correctable woman of God that, you know, she applied the, um, she applied the knowledge and, and ended up calling me back home. Um, right. and God was like, you know, uh, you know, in, in a lot of situations where, where, where we would have to be split apart, you know, we had to be in the house together, excuse me. Um, and three days into, into the lockdown, after I confessed this, I ended up getting really sick. You know, a lot of people, when that, when coronavirus happened, they gained heck of weight. Well, I lost almost 40 pounds. Wow. Um, I ended up getting like spiritually and physically and mentally sick, bro. Um, I couldn't eat. I was throwing up everything. Um, and, and when my wife should have been, should have been beating me up, slapping me, spitting on me, oh, no. bro, she cared for me. She, she, she nurtured me. She took care of me. You know, um, she, she was there for me, bro. Like I'd be on, I, I'd literally be on my couch for weeks. If I was sick for two and a half months, I was, uh, I would be literally on my, on my, uh, on my bed, bro, yeah. shaking. Like I was, uh, and she would, she would wake up because the bed was shaking so hard, and she's like, "What's wrong?" And I'm like, "Man, the enemy's coming to kill me." You know, right. but uh, you know, thank God for 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 His grace and His mercy that you know He yeah. He saw His favor on me, bro. But uh, what's beautiful about that, um. The, the part of this testimony, bro, is I would always find myself down on my knees crying, you know, asking God, like, like, why? And my wife, she would, uh, she would, she would kneel down next to me, bro, and, and, and go to war with me. And so I, I just want to encourage, you know, I'm not saying, hey, man, if you got something on your heart, go confess it to your wife right now. I'm saying take it to God. And what he puts on your heart, know that he's going to go before you. And, and the thing that God put on my heart that, that morning when I confessed to my wife, I said, Lord, you're going to have to, you're going to have to say these words. You're going to have to, you know, uh, restore my, uh, my, my wife. And, and, and he says, uh, son, not only have I prepared this way already, not only have I prepared her heart, but I've also already repaired her heart. It, mm -hmm. It's already in, it's already, it's already molded and it's already ready to take, you know, the, the, this blow or this lash that it's about to get. He says, just, right. just stand firm and have faith. 
And so I did, bro, and I had to confess him. And and what's crazy, bro, my wife ended up confessing to me too. And so it, it was just it was just a big old breakthrough for the both of us. And what the mm -hmm. enemy and meant for bad, awesome, bro, bro, God made for good. And that's Amen. awesome because I mean, as far as in my marriage, we had we had got separated from our church family for a little while, bro. We had quit. Yeah. Uh, we we stay out in a little small town out here, but we went out to almost like two and a half hours away. We didn't have nobody out there, so Man. basically it was just well, we had my sister out there, but it was basically yeah. just us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, come on. We had and COVID and that hit too. You know what I'm saying? We only had each other, bro. Come so on. we came and and we broke some barriers. We were we were 100 with each other, and and uh, yeah. we opened up to each other about a lot of stuff. You know. Like yep. my wife says, there's no such thing as closure. This is letting go and letting God. You know what I'm saying? Because you can, you can chase closure all you want, bro, but you'll never get it. You're always going to have another question <laughs> to that Come question. Come on, bro. So you got to give it to God and ultimately know he's going to pull you through it. So Come let's on. reverse a little bit. You know what I'm saying? In your testimony yep. where you said your 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 wife, shout out to your wife, bro, because she brought you to Christ. You know what I'm saying? So how long <laughs> yep. did that process, bro, that she was serving uh, the Lord and you were still in your ways? Um. It was so my daughter was diagnosed April of 2016. And I'd say within a month, two months, my wife was saved. So so she got saved 2016. So it was about a little over two years that 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 um, you know, she was walking by herself, you know, and I was still in the streets doing what what I wanted to do, you know, not not wanting to submit to, you know, a, a, a father figure, you know, to submit to God, you know what I mean? So, so that's not the wife because I know. Back when I backslid, man, my wife, uh, she wasn't for the for the rap music no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She yeah. wasn't one to tell me what I what I had to do. You know what I'm saying? As far as yeah. when I'm listening to music, one day she got into the car, bro, and she's like, "Man, you're gonna have to put that in your earphones. I'm not trying to hear that." You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I know you know the difficulty and what I wanted to ask from your point of view as, as that part of your testimony. How was it when you would you would sit around her? Because like you're saying, you know what I'm saying? Everything that was bothering you yeah. within. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. anointing she was walking in now and, and everything. How was that that whole two year process to kind of make a long story short? But how was that process, bro, when y'all were around each other? It was, you know, I was so blind, bro, that I didn't even care. Um, I don't I don't I, I can't speak for my wife. I'm sure she was. It was, you know, it was because I was bro, I was smoking, um, drinking lean, you know, drinking right. uh, uh, liquor, you know, doing all that, you know, and and. and but what's crazy is um there was a dude when my daughter was diagnosed, he came up to the room and was like, Hey, can I pray for you? Uh, long story short, you know, he prayed for us and they ended up they all ended up growing uh my daughter, him and, and and my wife, they all ended up growing like a real close relationship. And I would always ask, like, man, who the hell is this dude? I mean, why is he picking my daughter up to go, you know, to go give her some um some uh you know, take her to get spaghetti and asking my wife, you know, to go out and eat with him too. But he was just showing the love of Christ, bro, you know, and and and, and I uh I was angry at him for a while, but then, but then I, when I finally gave my life to Christ, I, I seen what he was doing. You know, he was leading it and, 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 and leading in it, uh, uh, in a beautiful way and leaving an example for me, you know what I mean? And so now that, now that, um, you know, I can see clearly, I see what he was doing, you know, but no. it, 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 I, I never really felt like any like tension, you know what I mean? Or, or, um, the the weirdness you know what I mean because I was I was blind bro I, I I couldn't feel anything so once once you did start to feel bro what was that one thing that happened that really brought you because I know you said you prayed on that whole situation to go to yeah. the concert before giving your yeah. life so what was it that finally broke what was it finally like man Justin you gotta get it together bro uh so my so it was my wife and my brother who were saved and and my bro he would just he would just speak life you know, he would just talk to me all the time. And, and, uh, one, one day he pulled, uh, he pulled up to my house and he's like, Hey bro, come outside. I'm here. And, uh, uh, he, he was like, I want to talk to you. And I'm like, man, about what? He's like, just come to the car. So I came out and he's like, Hey, you know, God wants me to tell you, you know, you need to change the music that you're listening to because the music you're listening to is, 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 um, you know, it's poisonous. And I was like, dog, it has no effect on my life. You know what I mean? I, I just listen to the music and I go about my day. And uh, he's like, I don't know, but he's like, this is just what God has had put on my heart. And um, so eventually, you know, I started putting, you know, I mean, um, all all those, all the all the worship music in, into my into my uh, rotation, and and finally uh, letting go of all the rap music. And so it was just influence from my wife, and and just feeling the the tug, the overwhelming tug that that tug that I felt in my heart that next day for me to go was just 
was overwhelming, bro. And I, I just felt that I needed to be there for some reason. I didn't know what it was. And I wasn't even expecting to give my life to God that night or even or even let go of anything that night. You know, I, I was just going for I thought would be a concert, you know, but right. it ended up being but it ended up being, uh, you know, costing um, my life that night. I mean, I laid my laid my life down that night and gave it to God and said, you know, you you do what you want to do with this life. Amen. And so, yeah, man. See, and, and I think that's what a lot of people and, you know, what's so important about this podcast and not only this podcast, the other podcast that yeah. shed light on CHH, bro. It's more than concerts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more than bro. because a lot of people look at it like, oh, man, it's entertainment, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed yeah. to go to the church house for the word, but they don't understand <laughs> that when people come to these concerts and they're invited to these concerts and they're like, oh, well, man, my homeboy listens to rap. But, hey, come check this out, bro. Yeah. Well, I don't, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not for all that church stuff. No, no, no. It's a concert, bro. Come, you know what I'm saying? Come yeah. listen. Oh, he got some bars. You know, I like to tell him, yeah. got bars, bro. So they, <laughs> bro. And then when they get there, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to come for you. But then they stumble across and get Jesus, bro. Like oh, I tell them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, the only thing that can happen is you can accidentally fall into Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. And, and well, that's I mean, about it, bro. So yeah. leads me to my next thing, because you said he put in your ears, bro, about how music plays a big influence on the way you were living you know what i'm saying how yeah. did you feel about that were you making music before you came to christ or yeah you know yeah saying? so so that, this is like this is like another big part of my testimony bro is um i was doing secular music i started doing secular music back in 20, 2001 two ish um i was doing secular music and you know was we were looking to get signed and everything and then we ended up um my uncle ended up getting popped by the feds and they 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 raided the whole studio and and you know took everything wow. um so fast forward you know to 2015 14ish my nephew had started rapping and um you know i i i quit rapping from like 2011 to 2013 14ish you know cuz i was just like man I'm, this is just not the scene no more my partners was all getting locked up so i was just like it's whatever um right. so 2015 my nephew started rapping and i was like man let me put on the beat and see if i still got it um i put on a beat bro i promise you kid you not i couldn't rap on beat i couldn't write a bar i couldn't do nothing and so i was like man what the heck i'm done with music i just, I just gave it all the all, all up bro because i was like this is just stupid um and then you know once i gave my life to christ i i wasn't even planning on being a chh artist or rapping none of nothing like that i just wanted to give my life to god to live for god well my 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 brother um, he was connected with this other dude, uh, Chris, and and he and he did music, and he was and he was a, a, a KMF leader before, and um, he was like, you know, when I gave my life to God, I'm like a month, two months into my walk, and we go to his house for a barbecue, and he's like, hey, bro, I normally don't work with people, um, I don't normally build my relationships on, you know, uh, on on music. He's like, but um, I know your brother, um, and and he he spoke very highly about you. And so I wanted to do music with you. Um, and I was like, eh, it's whatever, bro. Anyways, we ended up going, we ended up going to Colorado, which is like 19 hours, 21 hours from where we're at. Right. And we ended up driving all the way down there. Well, on the way down there, he's like, uh, my, uh, my brother's like, hey, bro, uh, spit one of them freestyles. And I'm like, oh, I don't rap no more. I mean, th this is, this is me three months into my walk. And I'm like, man, even if I do rap, there might be some cuss words that come out of here because I'm, I'm a I'm a newborn Christian. I mean, and my I, I'm not fully clean yet. Uh, he's like, bro, just just spit. And I'm like, bro, I, I don't do this no more. Um, the homie's like, hey, bro, well, let me let me pray, and, and and let's ask the Holy Spirit to do what He does. And you know, whatever we come up with is what we come up with. If you don't write, then you don't write. And so, anyways, he ended up um, he ended up praying, bro. We ended up writing a whole song. His wife does a hook. He does a verse. I do a verse. We come back, we, 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 we do the song and it's beautiful, bro. And so that, and that began my journey back to rap and Christian hip hop. When you, when, when you, when you became a Christian hip hop artist, you know, started yeah. doing rap again, how yeah. important was it to you to, to get that discipleship, bro? And when you were, you mentioned it was only three months into your walk. So how yeah. important, when did, when did you realize the importance of discipleship and being accountable? Oh, uh, bro, it was, uh, it was almost, I'm not going to say instantly because, you know, we're still young and growing, right. but so, so the song that we had made, it, it never, it never got put out or nothing like that. Um, it was, it was more of like, um, Hey, you know, God wants to use your gift for, 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 for greater, you know, what you used to use it for, you know, wasn't, wasn't what it was intended for. And now that God is, um, 
you know, now that now that you know what your gift is for, hey, let's use it for something great. Um, and so I ended up I ended up, you know, joining the um, joining the uh, the KMF discipleship group. And, uh, you know, it just being a part of that, bro, it just opened my eyes to so much more and how much accountability and how much we need to um, display Jesus and, and, and not us um, and, and let not let it be about us, but be about him. And, uh, you know, and, and just building, let, let, let there be, you know, you can speak about, you know, these, um, you know, where you came from, but let it end with, hey, I, I'm giving glory to God and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm set free and I, and, I, yeah. and, and, I, and I know who I am. I know my identity in him now. Right. And, you know, because I know like a lot of the, the worldly music, it's all about, hey, money, drugs, cars, women, yeah. all this other stuff. But, you know, when you give your life to God, you can, you, you can, you can portray the, the, or not portray, but you can give the life that, 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 um, and, and give the word of God through these, through these beats. And so yeah. that's what God was always instilling in my heart. And that's what um, discipleship, discipleship is about, you know, it's just the, instilling, you know, who, who God is inside of somebody and letting them know that, you know, um, no matter what we face, no matter what we go through, you know, God is going to be there, you know, and, 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 you know, whatever, whatever, whatever it is, you know, God's going to get us through, you know, and so when, when, when I, when I give my life on these beats, bro, it's, it's not me. I always, um, I always pray and I always fast before I even do a song, you know, right. because I don't want it to be of me. I want it to be of him. I don't want them to see me. I want them to see him, bro. And I want them to hear his voice. I want them to hear the, 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 either the pain or the happiness that I'm going through at that moment, you know? And so. Now my next, that leads me to my next question, bro. Cause I mean, the, when I met you bro in Houston, it was awesome yeah. because at that time, I was praying. I was in my quiet place praying that Lord bring me somebody to me that yeah. that, can, that can stand on the same level as me. You know what I'm saying? As yeah. far as what I, the season I was going through, and I spoke yeah. to you off off live about what I was going through, and to yeah. see your walk, bro, and you still giving them Jesus, bro. You still doing what you're called to do in the situation that you were in, bro. Like, yeah. if you don't mind me asking, how difficult is it to be able to stay grounded? In a time like this, like you said, your your daughter's uh, battling cancer right now, and yeah. you being in this season and still ministering to others, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. you're going through going through this 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 season in life. Yeah, it's 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 like you said, bro. It's rough, you know. But when my um, I think it's just so like we, me and my wife, we've been through a lot of the whole 2021 was like a big storm for me and my wife. And, um, you know, when, so my grandma died at the beginning of 2021 and, um, we just had a bunch of deaths throughout 2021. I had my, I had a nephew that got killed, um, back in October. I had a brother who, who, um, who died of an accidental overdose back in August. Um, I've had like 10 people die this year, both that I know, um, personally and, and very close to me. And so, um, it, it, this whole year, uh, that whole past year of 2021 was just you know, it felt like a, a a big step to get ready for something. And so when my daughter was diagnosed with um, with cancer again, it was hard, you know, but but. You know, to see my to see my daughter go through it again is 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 what is the hardest part, you know. Um, and so when I have to give glory to God, I find peace in it because I know whose hand she's in. You know, um, like I, I mean, you got to speak yesterday, you know, when she was diagnosed with it first in 2016, I was devastated. I didn't know how to handle it. Now I have a foundation found on Christ. Um, I believe not that he's letting me, he, but he's allowing me to relive these experiences again to, to live them in the right way. You know, um, when my daughter was first diagnosed, I was I was ripping and running the streets. The doctors never knew who I was. And so now. Now, now that my daughter's facing it again, I'm in the hospital with her. Me, and, we just spent a week and a half in the hospital together, and last month we spent, you know, thirty some days in the hospital together. And you know, the, the doctors, it, it it broke my heart. The doctors were like, um, my, uh, cause my wife was like, hey, this is my husband, this is Justin, and she, and she was like, husband, you got married, and you know, she's like, yeah, we've been married for you know almost ten years now. We've been together for twelve, and uh, she's like, I don't remember him from last time. And so, you know, it broke my heart, you know, because I wasn't there for my family as I needed to be, you know. And um, and so uh, and crazy, um, my, the doctors called last last week or week, week, no, two weeks ago to tell us, you know, 
the cancer is not dead. It has to, she has to do more treatment. <clears throat> My wife broke down on the phone crying. And uh, later that day, you know, I, 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 when, when she was calling, I was just praying. And um, later that day, my wife was like, why didn't you cry? You know, when the doctors told us this and I said, because I know my daughter's healed and I know where I stand, oh. you know, and she yeah. was like, you know, and, and, and so I want to be the, I want to be the pillar that I need to be for my family. And, you know, I'm not saying, Hey, I'm this strong person. I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm standing strong 24 seven. I'd be lying if I said that I have moments, bro, you know, where, where I cry and, you know, actually, matter of fact, when I was in Houston, bro, I was bawling my eyes out um, at, at one of the events. And because uh, I woke up that morning and, and, and the song Gyra came on. And, and so I started worshiping to it. And <clears throat> when we were at the event in, in, in Houston, the, the church, they started singing Gyra, bro, and it broke me to my knees. And I was like, man, and God was just reassuring me, hey, son, I have her. You know, I'm, I'm her healer. I'm her comforter. I'm her protector. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I find peace in that. And that's how, that's how I stand and, 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 and I'm able to, to be able to still go preach, you know, and able to still go pray for people. Um, and, and it really touched my heart. And, and I don't, not that I get any glory from this. I give God the glory. Uh, the other day I was on the phone with a brother and um, he was going through something. And I just told him, I said, Hey bro, let me pause you right there for a second. And let me pray for you. And, uh, and, and <clears throat> at the end of the phone call, we, we started crying. Well, at the, it was actually a live video. Um, he, I brought him on my live video. And, uh, and I, you know, I, I just prayed for him real quick. And he was like, man, he's like, look, bro. He's like, man, here you are praying for me when you're going through the situation that you're going through. And he's like, man, I should be praying for you. He's like, but he's like, you know, I just want to, I just want to, um, uh, 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 honor you right now and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, bro, it ain't me. It's God. You know, it's only because of him that I can sit here and still pray for people. It's only because of him that I can be on, I'm able to be on this live and, and minister and, and do whatever, you know, God has called me to do, you know, and, and, because I want no matter the situation. Um, th so, so this is like where I stand. God has, God had put me, in, uh, put my daughter in that hospital for a reason, you know, because there's, there may be a family in that hospital who doesn't know Jesus and who doesn't know that, Hey, I know the end of your, I, I know the, I know the end of the story, you know, whether, whether we're right. present in the Come body or, 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 or we're present with the Lord, we're going to yeah. give God the glory. And I believe, you know, God is, God is re, um, re, reshaking, uh, re, uh, reforming my daughter. And, and and making her making her uh her faith stronger than it was before you know because when she first when she first was diagnosed like i said you know she 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 said don't worry dad god's got us you know right. but along the way she started she started to fade away she started to take you know the the not that she was out doing craziness but she wasn't um giving god god glory anymore she wasn't praying as much as she needed to you know and, and i'm and i'm not saying hey god allowed this sickness to happen again because he doesn't he doesn't allow sickness like that but I believe, you know, some things happen for a reason and God's going to get the glory from this. And, right. and so now, you know, now she's, she's asking me every day, Hey dad, let's pray. Hey, I'm going through this moment. Let's pray. Hey, I'm, I'm feeling this type of way. Let's pray. You know, the other day her hands were shaking real bad and she was getting bad cramps and she's like, dad, get over here and pray for my hand. And she may not see the, and, and you know, it, and it wasn't like it was healing right there on the spot, you know, but 20 minutes later, she'd be like, Hey dad, let's pray. And so, you know, God is, God is, reassuring her of, of, of her faith and, and where she's at and, and, and to let her know that, Hey, I, you might not get healed right now, but know that, that sometime down this road, you're going to get healed. And, 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 and guess who's going to get the glory from this? I am God is, you know? And so I, I just, I, I love what God's doing in this moment right now. Yeah. And it's, it's like I shared with you, bro, you know, through this season that we're walking in, man, it's, uh, there's a song by Dayton, you know what I'm saying? That he released yeah. called Hell in the Hallway because we know the end of the story we know what's what's fixing to come but right now yeah. in this process it's yeah. hell in this hallway bro and we just got to find jesus in, in the midst of this and every day Amen. you got to wake up and, and find it and yeah. uh every it's day difficult, but, uh, to dial back a little bit a little bit more back <laughs> but uh you said the first time you know i don't mean to take so focused on this Good. but i just want to show the comparison of you know when she was diagnosed you ran to drugs you ran to yeah different things like you told me yep. over the phone in our private conversation and now that you're a believer bro how is the difference knowing that you have jesus to run to now you know what i'm saying like can yep. you break that down a little bit i know you know what i'm saying yeah um so so before like you know it's 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 where we find comfort you know i know before like i would always find comfort in in alcohol and not that even it wasn't even comfort you know it, it was a band-aid 
you know, because the right. next morning, okay. I, I the next morning I would feel the, the same pain that I felt the day before, you know, and so I would run some more drugs or run to the alcohol or run to certain different types of things. And, 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 and now that I, now that I have Christ in my life, um, I can, I know who my, who my, who my father is. And I know where I can find my comfort. I know where I can find my peace. I don't have to run to something that is temporary. I can run to something that is eternal. You know, his, mm -hmm. his love is eternal. His, 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 his grace is eternal. You know, it, it, it's sufficient for me now. I, I find peace in that. And so when I wake up, Hey, I give thanks to my God, you know, and I'm like, thanks for another day of breath, Lord, you know, because any, any day above ground with breath in our lungs, man, is, is, is beautiful. And so now I just, I find, I find it, um, I find myself, you know, trying to, trying to press towards the goal, you know, and, and finding who, I'm finding more of Jesus every single day. And so that's, so that's, um, the difference for me, bro, is just, um, you know, knowing, knowing who, who our comforter is, you know, instead of finding it in, trying to find it in, 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 in the worldly, in the worldly things. And those that, you know what I'm saying? What, what kind of encouragement do you have for those that, that do mask their pain, um, twist one up, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Put one in the air. What, what kind of encouragement would you give them right now that they know they're wrong? You know what I'm saying? They know, and, yeah. and to, to some believers, you know what I mean? Cause there's, yeah, you know, believe it or not, there's believers out there that you, you, right after they leave the stage, man, they they their their <coughs> lyrics don't line up with how they're living in that hotel. You oh, know what I mean? So at, you know, at, but oh, they bro. they they have this pride, bro, that won't let them uh yeah. would you say be open or or yeah, you know what I'm saying, cry out be for them because they're too yeah. private. You know what I'm saying? They don't yeah. have somebody there that's accountable for them, like you yeah. said. What kind of so do you give to them? So I still have family members who are you know I'm, and i'm sure everybody does across this world bro yeah. you know but i have i have my, my my dad you know he's 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 uh he's in um he's lost in this world you know um you know he deals with with alcohol a lot and yeah. uh um so you know I, I always tell him you know i always try to encourage him hey you know you don't need to find peace in this and and he always tells me you know son this is i've been doing this for uh he's fit or he's he's 56 now He's like, son, I've been doing this for the better, you know, 50 years of my life, you know? And so he's like, this stuff is hard for me. And he's like, you know, these are the things that I run to. And so I always just try to encourage him, like, man, like, you know, I encourage him to surround himself with, with, with better people, you know? And, and, I, and I'm not saying that his friends that he's, that he hangs around are, are yeah. bad people. I'm just saying if you, cause my, you know, whenever I come around him, he's like, son, I want to get baptized. I want to do these, you know, I want to give my life to God and all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, pops, and you need to, you need to change your circle. And I'm not saying, hey, stop being friends with these guys for the rest of your life. What I'm yeah. saying is, what I'm saying is get plugged into get plugged into the source. Let excuse me, let him fill you up, let him strengthen you. So when you go around your friends again, you're not enticed to drink again. You're not influenced to drink again, but you can be an influencer. You can be an influencer to them. You can be like, hey man, yeah. you don't need that. You don't right. need this drink to you don't need this right. drink to uh, comfort you. You don't need that blunt to comfort you. What you do need is Jesus. What you do need is, is the Holy Spirit and what you do need yeah. is God. And I know and I know him on a personal level and I can lead you to him. Man. And, and, and boom. And, and there it goes, you know, and he's and he's always like and he always wants to argue with me. He's like, I don't want to leave my friends like that. I'm like, right. and I, I just tell him, like, Pops, it's not forever. You know, right. where, where your where your soul goes. Now, that's forever. And yeah. I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to go yeah, to true. heaven. You yeah. know, and, 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 and so I, I, there's this, you know, there's there's a saying like I would rather you hate me on your way to heaven and love me on your way to hell, mm, you know? So good. whatever, 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 however I can encourage my, you know, my, my family or even uh, the, the, the person listening to this who doesn't know God and maybe, and maybe you do get off the stage or, or maybe you do know God and you get off the stage and you run to a blunt real quick, or, or maybe you still have a, a, a foul mouth. You know, I just want to encourage you, man, just to really truly seek God. And there's a, there's a, there's a Bible verse real quick that I want to read. And it's found in Colossians four. And it says, um, it says, let every word you speak be drenched with grace and tempered with the truth and clarity Man. for when, uh, for then you will be prepared to give a respectful answer to anyone who asks about your faith. And, you know, when, when, when you, when you speak with, when you say, Hey man, I've been, I've been freed from, from, from drinking, you know, I've been freed from, from, uh, God set me free from this, from all these, the, the, the drugs, but yet you get off stage and, and you go curse somebody out or you get off stage and, and, and you get around your partners and you take a, you know, uh, hit it a spliff or, you know, you, you drinking beer again or whatever, 
you know, I, I want to encourage you, man, to uh, really seek God and really be faithful in your prayers and really, um, uh, uh, really ask God to remove the pride from your life and, and just surrender it today, man. Yeah, man, that's good. Uh, and I know you told me you had prior engagements. I'm being time sensitive to you. Uh, oh, man, did I lose him? I think it's my bad, my bad. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I lost you for a little bit. All right. Uh, my last question that we're going to dive into, bro, is, you know, I know you said that you've been doing music since you started walking, you understand, know about three months in. But coming into this, man, let's get on to the CHH side a little bit. Yes. Coming into this, man, how was how are you embraced, bro, as far as welcomed into the CHH community, as far as the unity and as far as yeah. the... You know, I know you say you you got into a brotherhood, but as far as an outlook of CHH in a whole, how do you feel yeah. like the unity is? So I say this: when I first gave my life to, uh, not when I gave my life to God, but when I first started doing music, um, I didn't, I wasn't like, hey, I do music, and I still really don't push my music a lot, like I, maybe I should, but I never was the one to, hey, I do music, let, let, let let's work, let's work, let's do this. Um, and Curtis Hoppy was like one of the, I, I don't know if you know Curtis Hoppy, but Curtis Hoppy was like one of the first um, bigger named uh, CHH artists that I've ever worked with. Yeah. And uh, and he came up to me, he, he had actually came up um, for uh, for a candlelight vigil for another one of my nephews who had passed away a few years ago. So to, like 2018, um, right. he came up and he was like, hey man, I didn't know you do music. And uh, cause I had met him the day before and he was like, hey man, I didn't, I didn't know you do music. And um, he was like, uh, he was like, man, we should work on something. And, um, you know, so, and then seeing all that unity, it, it, it was beautiful, you know, and but now, like when I look at it and not that it's it's terrible or, you well, know, but you. Yeah, but 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 there is there is there is a um, there is a side that is not like. I think people. So this is so this is OK, let, let, I'll just go back to me. So I'm up in the Northwest. A lot of brothers up here, if you don't work with them, then it's, 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 you're like, you're basically like cut off. And I'm like, man, I want to, I want to build on Jesus first. Let's build our relationship on Christ. And then if music comes from this, man, let's do it. You know, but I I think, I think we get stuck in this. Hey, we do music. So we got to do music. You're a CHH artist. I'm a CHH artist. We have to do music. No, we don't. Where's the brother? yeah like let, let's build on christ first and that's why i love that's why i love brian you know he, he's always told me he's like man like whether whether it's whether whether we ever do music together or not i want to build with you and so that's where i've always been with bowen and whether me and brian ever do a song or whether me and whoever my, my favorite artist is ever do a song i'm cool if we never do because i know him on a personal level i know him as a brother i know that if i ever need him i can call him and he'll pray for me and vice versa if he ever needs me and he calls me i can pray for him and i can and i can you know and and so that's the that's the that's the part that um that we lack a lot as as a uh as a as a community we lack that 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 part boy just seeing past the um seeing past just because we're artists we have to do music together and it's not let's 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 just build you know i mean and let's and let's Cause that, cause that's all we are. We just have a. This is just an instrument for us to bring more to right. the, to, to to Christ. Right. You know, this isn't an instrument for us to be like, hey, let's let's do this and let's do this for for comparison or for for clout. Like, oh, I just did a song with with right. uh with with Brian, or I just did a song with you know with 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 somebody who who's bigger than the uh, seven, or you know the, the the list can go on. But right. hey, man, I, I know this brother on a personal level, and I can pray for this brother, and he can pray right. for me. And, and whatever you know it's not we don't have to do it in comparison and i think a lot of us are, are blinded from that right there right so do you feel like right now in chh a lot of people are blind, blinded by the would you say i had the word because you got to separate from industry from ministry do you feel like a lot of people are are going more minute more industry minded than than ministry minded oh yeah we can see oh, yeah, that definitely past that the the unity will come together. That just goes to my next definitely. question. Before I try to put you on the hot seat to tell you, oh man, now nah, how do you feel like the brotherhood and and it, you already pretty much answered it, but the brotherhood as far as being a body of Christ, not even as far as being uh, CHH artists, but being believers. You know what I'm saying? And a body. Yeah. Of Christ, how do you feel like being a body can benefit? You know what I'm saying? Like how you feel like CHH yeah. can if people can learn how to 
just separate. Man, it, man if, if if we can, if we can separate, you know, like you just said, industry from ministry, man, this will they'll when when we go to these events, revival will happen. You know, uh -huh. the atmospheres, those, those atmospheres, you know, when you feel tension in the atmosphere, it's because there's 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 a platform and hey, I want my name in the lights and I want them to see uh -huh. me. You know, instead of saying, instead of instead of Jesus's name being in the light and instead of using that platform to, to build a body and tearing it down or instead of tearing it down or or thinking that, oh, I have this spot. So here I am here and, and you're down here and, and and there's this separation. No, let's we're all like you just said, we're all one body. And once right. we and once we can and once we can apply that and once we and once we uh, 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 our eyes become open to that, man, so much more can happen. You know, so much so many more because you you see a lot on posts you know when 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 a when an artist or a, i don't want i don't like calling them artists when a minister um makes a post you can see in there hey well this person was doing this last week at the event or why is this person such and such you know there, there's unbelievers they see that and they'll right. point it out they're, they're quick to point it out and yet we want to cover it and swipe you know sweep it under the rug and not address the situation but and, and, and not that the address, uh, a situation needs to be addressed, but why why make it public? Why make it known to somebody? Why not just take it to that brother and say, "Hey, man, you know I've been feeling this way in my heart. You know, oh, do yeah. let's do with that. You know, bring a brother with you and go. You know, and go and go uh, uh, address the situation. You yeah. know, and if not, then you know, you know, take it further and further and further. You know, in the church, you know, an unbeliever shouldn't be able to see the the the, the problems that are inside of the body. Because it makes them be like, well, why would I want to serve a God like this? Yeah. Why would I? Why would I want to give my life to God if all this is going to happen? Now, I'm already dealing with so much stuff in my life. I don't want to add more onto my life. I thought I was giving my life to Christ to, to you know, to my burdens to be lifted off, you know. And so it, it's yeah. and so, social media, social media oh, is so hard, bro. Especially for like your Lecrae's out there and and you know everything <laughs> with. With all kinds of situations that come up. And I know I'm being sensitive to your time, bro. I know you got things no, to do. No, you're good. No, you're good. Uh, so we, we, we can, what time is it now? It's it's already 45 minutes in. We can we can speak a little longer, bro. Okay. So uh yeah. my next well, well, let me dive straight into it, bro. We're gonna go <laughs> warfare, bro. We're gonna go spiritual warfare next because I like Ooh, to I like to find it. I like to see where, where people stand on on warfare, you know what I'm saying? Cause yeah, come on. Of Skiva, bro. I, I love that story only because, bro, that's a heart check, man. You go. Yeah. You can't be coming out here not standing on and being who you say you are behind closed doors. Yeah. Because when you Come stand on. up and minister, especially ministers, bro, especially yeah. ones that are ministering the word, and then even if you make music and you're glorifying the Lord, you got to remember, bro. Satan was head of praise and worship, bro. So Come on. he's gonna come at come you. You're in his. At, you're in his territory. You're in, yeah. his, in his camp. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to pull, have nobody get pulled away from rap. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. When you put. When you glorify the Lord and put hip hop together, bro, that's that's warfare in itself. So Definitely. when you when you go out there and not being who you say you are, you're gonna get ran out like the sons of Skiva. They got chased out the house naked, bro. <laughs> y'all can't come, come over here with that funk because y'all not ready. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. being on the road, you know what I'm saying? You got to be at a couple of events where the spirit was moving, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. And, and I'm I'm pretty sure amongst your time being in the warfare that you you take place in going to pray for people. What's the most amazing thing? And I don't say crazy. I say amazing thing that you've ever seen Jesus pull somebody from. Ah, oh, let's see. Man, that's crazy. That's that's that's. Uh, there's a few, man. Um, but one that, but one that personally sticks to me yeah, that, go. um, that I was able to witness, um, and and be a part of. Uh, with me and my wife, um. You know, we, we we do we do ministry and we travel a lot together and we do you know we do a lot of things and like I said earlier you know praying is uh, uh is is and is like one of our biggest things that we love to do is praying for people and so we got to pray for this lady um she was dealing with scoliosis and she had and she she had this big old bump on the back of her back um and it was her husband there and her husband said you know do you believe that 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 you that you that that you can be healed today and she would always answer her husband well. Um, yeah, I believe, I believe God wants to heal me, but on his timing. And I don't think, to, excuse me, I don't think today is the time. Oh, wow. And, uh, so I, I, so I just told her, I said, you know, well, God does want to heal you. And whether that's today or tomorrow or wherever in the future, God wants to heal you. 
And so I said, well, do you mind if we pray for you? And she says, yeah, I, you can pray for me. And so I, I told my wife, I said, would you, will you go get, you know, my, my three daughters? Um, and I have two 14 year olds. And, and at that moment, I, at that time, I think she, they were 13 and uh, my other one was like six. And I said, go get my daughters real quick so we can all lay hands on this, on this lady. Um, so we ended up laying hands on her. Um, you know, she, uh, uh, so the husband has never been able to hug his wife like a big bear hug and, and really hug her. He's always been, he just got to barely touch her. Right. Um, so we got to pray for this lady and she couldn't bend over, none of that. So we, we prayed for her. She got to bend over a little bit. Um, I said, what is your pain at it? You know, we, we kept praying. Anyway, she got down to a zero and she could touch her toes at this wow. moment. Um, she, and like I said, she had this big old uh, 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 bubble on the back of her um, neck as well. That ended up coming down and her husband was able to give her a big old hug. Um, we ended up, so we left that night, you know, praising God. She was able to, to uh, she didn't have no more back pain, no nothing. Um, uh, two weeks later, uh, she get, uh, she got a hold of my wife and she says, you know, I've been, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Um, I went to my doctors um, and, and, you know, for, for my uh, physical therapy and the doctors did an x-ray on my back and the scoliosis is gone and they don't know why it's gone or how it's gone. Yeah. And so uh, that's like, that's like the, the biggest, like, you know, um, thing that, that is personally, like I've been able to witness and, and seen, and, you know, she's able to do things that she's, she's able to lift stuff. She's able to, you know, walk and not have pain, you know, her, her, her feet, her feet are lying straight now, you know? And so, to, uh, for me, that's like the biggest thing. I've, but I've seen like deliverances. I've seen you know people throw up. I've seen uh, you know doing doing uh, 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 you know outreaches you know near the homeless. I've seen people you know walking backwards and you know just being completely you know uh, uh, possessed by the enemy. You know, and so I, I've seen some crazy stuff. But for me personally, <clears throat> that was probably one of the 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 um, most. Um, powerful one. I shouldn't say powerful because I've I've honestly have seen somebody dead and brought back to life as well. Come on, man. No life. No awesome. life. The dude now, was great. The dude now, was great, and he ended up coming back to life, bro. Come on, man. That's that's awesome. Now, now going through the through the warfare. How important to when you're walking in warfare? How important is being submitted under a covering, bro? Uh, how oh, important man, is that? Come on, because you know there's a few up and coming artists. You know what I'm saying that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how when you when you started up, you know, because a lot there's not a lot, but there's a few out here that's like, man, I, I don't need a cover and I submit to God. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? He is my my shepherd. How yeah. important I, to you is submission? I've I've been a part of um I've witnessed both of those. Um, you know, being in submission and being and saying, Hey, God is part of the God is my submission, God is my covering. I only answer to him. That's pride. Let's just get that out the way. That's prideful right there, you know, because God has God has um, shepherds above us for a reason. You know, mm -hmm. even your your pastor has a covering. That pastor right. has a covering, and so on and so forth. And on, you know, yeah. and so yeah. uh, the covering is is needed in your walk with Christ, especially when you minister the Word of God to somebody. Because mm -hmm. first of all, you're held to a higher standard. You know, when 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 you out when you go out and teach somebody the Word. And, and you have to make sure that you're living correctly and, and you have to make sure that, hey, I got to let my. Uh, uh, so this is for me. I let my pastor know, hey, I'm getting ready to go out and, and minister the word of God. Um, and he's like, cool, let me pray with you. Let me pray over you. And you have my blessing, you know, to go out and do what you need to do. Right. And so uh, and, and, and so and that's and that's being submitted uh, to God and saying, hey, I respect the authority above me. And I'm going to submit my ways to, to, you know, to my pastor and I'm going to submit my life to him as well. You know, I'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, run it by him, you know, because he's he's obviously been in this game a lot longer. You know, uh, uh, he's obviously been a part of you know the body a lot longer than I have. And so he can steer me in the right direction. Like, hey, man, maybe maybe you should go fast a little longer, you know, because these these enemies over here are, are crazy. You know, oh so God. maybe you need to fast. Maybe you need to get prayed up. Maybe you need to work. Maybe God is going to uh, maybe God is going to you know, uh, um, download you a new word, uh, an on-time word for somebody that's there, you know, because we can sit here and read this Bible all we want and be like, hey, man, that's a good verse right there. I'm going to use that at my next event. And yet that's not, it, it, of course, it's powerful because the whole Bible is powerful, but maybe God has something yes, in here. If you just read a little, if you read a little longer and, and God, will, uh, God will reveal something so strong for you. And, and when you go there, you'll hear the testimonies when you're done, when you come off stage and be like, hey, bro, that right there spoke to me. 
you know, but yet here you had this little bitty word over here and God had this, you know, this gigantic word for you. And so that's right. what, you know, being submitted and being and having a covering for me, you know, that, 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 that's for me, you know, um, what, what, how, why I submit to my, my pastor and, and my covering facts. above me. And that's facts, bro. Cause before every show, man, I let my pastor know. As soon as I book yeah. somebody, I call him, shout out my pastor, yeah. pastor out here. Come and uh, Rosenberg wins the glory church international. I, I tell him all the time, <laughs> yeah, look, I got this one coming on. All right, son, you know, keep you prayed yeah. up. And and he, I always have his blessing when when I'm about to take take on the podcast. Yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of people look at it like, man, you know what I'm saying. But now nah, you gotta do that. You you have yeah. to do that. And you know, yeah. one thing I love him for because he always helps me understand when you truly know when you're submitted and covered. Because he has a saying, you know, when do you know you're actually covered, or when do you just want to be blanketed? When you have Come a on. covering, you can be told no. When you have Come a covering, on. you submit when they're like, nah, you can't do that right now. I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when you want to be blanketed, when you get that no, you could throw it off like, all right, throw I don't need that covering right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna yeah. go handle my business. It, it's it's, like, it's like when the, when the heat is turned up, right. I want that blanket yeah, off. You know? Exactly. Uh -huh. That's get up under that thing and snuggle it. Pressure uh, bust pipes or it makes diamonds. You Come know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. Come uh, on. So, where can the people find you, bro, if they want to get a feature with you? I know there's a lot of dudes, there's a lot of artists out here in, in Houston that, you know what I'm saying, that watch it. Yeah. Where can they reach you? Because where are you at now? Where, where are you from again? I'm in Spokane, Washington, the uh, upper left Pacific North, man. Yeah, because um, so, you threw me through a loop when I said, yeah, man, uh, 7 o'clock. He's like, he said, my time or your time? And I'm like, hey, hold <laughs> up, that's right, bro, I forgot. So, yeah, Wait, man, there's other time? <laughs> um, you can find me on IG at the real Justin Vaughn. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Justin Vaughn. There's I got TikTok. Uh, it, it, it's our ministry TikTok. Is is we underscore different. Um, you can hit my uh, the uh, the ministry page at different ministries. Um, you can hit my messenger. Whatever. Um, I'm, I'm available wherever and whenever. You know that's how you can find me. Facebook, uh, uh, TikTok, IG. So Take, what's what's uh, upcoming before, before we before we uh let the people go? What's up coming for Justin Vaughn, man? What you got coming up, bro? Man, so I, like I had to talk about where you came from, but I like to know where you're at now. You know what I'm saying? What you got <laughs> going on right yeah. now? Yeah. So uh so I got a um I'm working on an album right now. Um so there'll be an album. I say with everything that's going on right now, I'm probably gonna let it go May, end of Mar uh, end of April, beginning of May. Um I'll have a uh trying to do like seven, eight songs. Um, yeah, so there's an album coming out. I got some, uh, I've been, I've been meaning to release this single, but you know, me being in the hospital with my daughter and, and right. my main, my main focus is with her. Um, I had, I even had, I even had some bookings, um, that I, that I don't know if I can do anymore, you know, with the circumstances that are going on. And so I might have to push off a few of my bookings out. Um, but, but yeah, man, God, God, God going to be doing something crazy this year, man. I just, just stay tuned for the ride and, uh, you know, watch what God does. Come on, man. Shout out. Glory. So if y'all feel led, you know what I'm saying, to, to give y'all life to the Lord, man, um, reach out to us. We can find places yeah. especially out here in, in Rosenberg or even in the Houston area. I know a lot of good pastors out there in Houston, yeah. right here in Rosenberg. If y'all led to come to a church, man, wins of glory, church international, we, we welcome you with open arms. And if y'all out there in Washington, watching this, uh, or if y'all watching the live or the rerun, man, reach out to Justin. He can get you plugged come in on. out there. Just like yes. in. Yes. I can hear, man. Appreciate you, Justin, for your time. Of course, my bro. It's uh, nothing. If you have anything easy. you want to tell the people before you get out here, man? Anything you want to? Um, any shout outs or anything, bro? Before you go, one thing I do want to say, bro. Before we go, man, shout out to you and your wife for the for the lives y'all do, man. Y'all be speaking. Man, thank that, you. That heat, bro. Because man, uh, I was just about to say. When y'all when y'all go on y'all lives, man, it's about 12, 12 o'clock, <laughs> one o'clock over here, but I be tuned in, bro. <laughs> I be trying to because my wife, she loves, I don't know what it is, bro. Like it'll be like we be getting ready to go to bed and you know, it's like eleven o'clock out here. She's like, actually, no, we're gonna go do a live. And I'm like, man, this late. She's like, yeah, and I'm like, all right, I guess so. You, you know, got them people it, up but, still scrolling. Yeah, it, it's crazy, bro, because there's always somebody who's like, you know, they ended up messaging us and like, hey, you know, you just you just wrecked my world. You just you just introduced me to something new. Oh, and, uh, you know, I, I want to get my life to Christ or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, that's what I was getting ready to shout out. Shout out my wife, you know, because she's always she's always encouraging me, bro, to to, to keep pressing forward, you know, to do these Bible studies. You know, be, be on the lookout for these Bible studies. You can add my, excuse me, you can add my wife, Holly Vaughn, on Facebook, you know, and, uh, and, and stay close attention to what God's going to be doing. But what I want to say is, is uh, be faithful. 
be faithful in your prayer. Um, there's a word that God is that God was downloading on me this year, and the word is worship. Um, he says when you're when you're faithful, when, when when you worship, you know, when you when you remember the the story of Paul and Silas in the jail, um, in prison and then shackled, and everybody else around them, you know, when they when they were when they were praising and worshiping the uh, uh, singing songs and hymns to Christ, you know, those shackles were broken. So I want to encourage you to be faithful to worship Christ. And, and, and there may be somebody in your vicinity, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's your son, whether it's your daughter who's who's in bondage, um, be faithful to worship and watch those shackles not only break off you, but break off the people that are that are surrounding you. Yeah. You know, because just like Paul and Silas, those 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 they're they're, they're uh their cellmates, they didn't know who Jesus was. They didn't know that what worship men and singing songs and hymns to, to, to Christ was, but yet their 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 doors broke open. The jail oh. fell down and they could have escaped, you know, mm -hmm. but God has something uh, for you guys this year and it's worship and it's being faithful to worship. And so that's what I encourage, man, be faithful in your worship, be faithful in your prayer, be faithful in, be faithful in, in, in your time and giving it to God. You know, don't just say, hey, I want to give you, you know, my, the, these last bit of moments, you know, which is, which is still cool too. God will still use that, but be faithful to give him your all, you know, don't just give him your leftovers. Right. Shout out, man. Shout out to you, Justin, bro. Thank y'all for tuning in again. Don't man. forget, man, we got a back-to-back -back like the NFL does. We got a double <laughs> header. The boy Jay got to be on here tomorrow, seven time, our Come time. On. I think it's five o'clock over there, too. Yeah, five o'clock. Yeah, five so, o'clock. Uh, shout out Jay Diamond uh, and shout out Justin for your time, bro. Thank you. Shout time. out to you, bro. Shout it's out great, your wife, bro. too, man. Shout oh, out to yeah, family, my sure, brother. Sure. Love Keep you guys, bro. Busy, man. I know there's, there's prayer workers out there. Keep us definitely. Busy, and man, definitely. Stay tuned, bro. We, We'll, we'll be back. Thank you, bro. Yeah, let's, yeah, thank you. Shout out, Faith.